Um, sweet. sweet. Okay. okay. Seems, Seems like, like we have, we have a, a overall, overall a nice, nice mix, mix of you know people who are here, here for the, the audio, audio reactivity, reactivity and, and other people, people who are here for the ML. ML. Um, um, as, as a a quick, quick I don't know, setting, setting expectations, expectations for this for workshop. workshop um, um, this, this is, is like completely, completely, completely intro level. level. So, so I'm, I'm assuming, assuming that. that you all have, have no prior, no prior experience. experience. And if and you do you have prior experience, experience, it's still, still really awesome, awesome because, because, you know, you know reviews, reviews never, never hurt. hurt. Um, sweet. Cool. Uh, so I'll go ahead and start presenting and talking about what we're doing today. Let me get my laser pointer. Yeah. yeah. So, so we, we are, are making. making Audio, Audio reactive, reactive AI, AI generated, generated video. We have an external speaker and echoes from that feeding back into the mic. Uh, it might be this audio output capture. I'm not sure if that'll help. Or if the PC is outputting the audio. Is this, is this better, better or still the oh, same? Okay. Better or the same? Same. Okay. Audio output capture. Oh. Display capture input. Okay, now it now sounds better. better. Better for me. Okay. 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 Woo! Oh, we're good, good now. Sweet. Sweet. <laughs> thanks. Thanks, thanks, thanks for bearing you. bearing with me. Okay. okay. So, so we are we all, are all gathered, gathered here, here today. today. Echo started, started again. again. Huh. I don't understand why. Is there echo when I'm... It was the mic and the headphones that was picking up the sound. Mm. Yeah, but I don't have any external sound playing. It's just coming into my headphones. <laughs> Okay. okay. Right now, right is now there echo? echo? We won't, we won't be, in be in touch, touch designer, designer until a little bit later. later. Okay. okay. I, I will... will... Is it, is it, is it bearable? bearable? <laughs> Okay. okay, I'll just, I'll just like, like stay, stay really close, close to the mic then. Okay, talking directly into the microphone. Okay, sorry y'all. Okay, so we are here to make an audio reactive video and the two main platforms we're gonna be using today are Runway ML and Touch Designer. Um, so, this is me. I teach some classes with Derek Schultz and also do some workshops like this on my own. Um, this is me on the internet if you want to find me on the internet. And I also have a mailing list, which is how you can stay up to date with things that I'm doing. And also, I'll send out like resources regarding AI art and events that are coming up. So yeah, today, what we're doing okay. is <laughs> NPR voice. Um, so today what we're doing, you are going to leave this workshop. Uh, this workshop, also some of you asked me about how long it would be. I'm aiming for like one and a half to two hours. I don't wanna keep y'all here forever. Um, but yeah, hopefully at the end of this, you will have an audio reactive AI animation that you made, plus a beat detector that you built from scratch and touch designer. And 
new knowledge of machine learning and how to use Runway ML, which is a platform which gives people access to, to machine learning models. So for all of you who came on time, <laughs> um, this is, these are some setup things that, um, that you should do if you're trying to follow along during this workshop. Um, but as always, you know, this will be recorded. And if you want to just watch, that's totally fine. And then you can go through it on your own time. Um, and you can like pause the video and replay whenever, whenever you need to. Sweet. OK. And so as a high level overview, um, the two things we're doing today is we're going to be using two different pieces of software or platforms. One is Runway ML, which looks like, looks like this. And then the second one is called Touch Designer, which looks like this. And we're going to use Runway ML to get our source video, which is AI generated from you know the machine learning models that are in Runway ML. And we're going to put it into Touch Designer to make it audio reactive. And I'm going to move, take my mic a little bit higher. Um, and so the, yeah, sort of the key is like, how do we make it audio reactive? Like, what are we actually doing? Um, and the way we're going to be doing that is um, in Touch Designer, we are going to build a patch. A patch is just, you know, one of these, one of these graphs with all these wires and things connecting these nodes. It's called a patch. Um, we're going to build one of these patches to detect beats in the music. And then after we build our beat detector, we are going to use these beats to control video playback. Um, so essentially what we're doing, the, the approach we're going to take today is we are going to detect the beat and then whenever, and whenever the beat, the beat happens, happens, we're going to play, play the video, video faster. faster. Um, and, and that, that creates effects like, like this. this. These are some, some, yeah, yeah, some, some, some things, things I made. I made. And, and shout, shout out, out to John, John Young, Young, who's in the audience, whose music this is for this one. So these are sea slugs. Let me turn the volume down. So these are sea slugs that I generated with Stallion, and then I put it into Touch Designer to make it audio reactive. Um, here's another example. Uh, this is music credit to Nathan Chan, who's a really, really prolific cellist, but also a really dope friend. Um, Hi, John. Yeah. There's a nice part I like here. So literally, like, what's happening in these videos is when the beat hits. This is another track by John. Um... Literally, Literally, like, like when, when the beat is detected, detected, the video just speeds up. And that's, that's how you get this, I don't know, this effect of like, the video, video is speeding up or like jumping, jumping in reaction, reaction to the music. Um, and it's, yeah, yeah this is, this will be, be the approach we use today. Um, when the beat happens, happens, you can play the video faster. faster. But you know, you know it's, it's just, just inputs, inputs and, outputs, and outputs, and it's just, just a signal. signal. So you, so you can, can use the signal to control anything regarding the video. video. You could make, make, make it, it so that when the beat happens, the color, color of the video changes. Or when the beat happens, maybe it zooms in and it rotates to spin the video or something. Or when the beat happens, you switch to a different clip. Um, those are all possibilities, and those are all things you can do in Touch Designer. 
Um, but for today, okay. we're just going to do this first, first one, one for when, when the beat, beat happens, happens, you play the play video, video faster. faster. And, and for, for all, all of you who, you know, know already may know machine, machine learning, and, and for those of you who have, have like, like, trained your own style GAN model, model um, I'm, I'm not, not going to be covering, covering live inference in touch, touch designer, designer today. today. Um, um, it, it, yeah. yeah. But, but there, there is a tutorial, tutorial here. here. Um, and, and essentially, essentially like, like live inference, inference for those of you who don't know, is when you have a model that you've trained already and it's literally like generating, generating things on the fly, like in, in real time, time um, in, in reaction, reaction to, to the inputs, which would be like the beat input. Um, we're not yeah, covering live, live inference in Touch Designer today, today but, but there's, there's a tutorial here. here. And, and I, I also, also plan, plan to, to watch, watch through this tutorial, tutorial. Uh, and possibly, you know, teach another installment in the series. Um, but, but yeah, yeah today, today we're just doing, when, when the beat happens, happens we're going to play, play a existing, existing video, video faster. faster. Um, and, and so, so what, what we're, we're going to do to, you know, create, create this effect, effect is we're going to use Touch, Touch Designer. Designer. This is a, a software. software. Um, I started, I started using, using touch, touch designer, designer about like five, five or six, six months, months ago in my work. work. Um, and, and it takes it a, it has, it has a little bit of a learning curve, especially, especially if you haven't have seen, seen like, you know, yeah. stuff uh, like things, things that, that are, are these, these nodes, nodes with data, data flow, flow and like inputs and outputs and, and, and these wires, wires that, that are connecting them. them. Um, um, but yeah, yeah, the way I learned is I took this, there's a free course, which is just like basics, basics, like, what the, what the UI, UI looks like, what, what these nodes, nodes represent, represent uh, what different, different types, types of operators are in Touch Designer. Designer. I went well, through, this through this course, course and like, like, it takes like, like, I don't know, like three, three to five, five hours. Um, and, and then also, also this, this YouTube, YouTube channel, channel is, is like, like everything. everything. This YouTube, YouTube channel, channel from Bailey Mishep, he has all of these tutorials and yeah, I love this YouTube channel. He has a lot of tutorials and like, like they're, they're all, all videos, videos that are like 20, 20 minutes long and then at the end, end of an hour you have like this cool, cool thing that you've that made by following his tutorials and so, so yeah, yeah huge huge huge, huge thank, thank you to, to him and his youtube channel because a lot of the material for this workshop is based off of like videos that, that he has made, made and put up okay, okay. yeah, yeah. Link to the slides. slides. You got it. Okay. okay. But first, first before, before we get, we get to touch, touch Designer, before, before we get to all of that, that um, the first thing we need is a source of video. video. Um, and, and we are, are going, going to get, get that in Runway. runway. We're going to go to Runway, runway to get, get our source of video. video. Um, uh, but, but yeah. yeah. You could, you could just, just as easily, easily sub in any source video you wanted. You could, could like, like take a video, video of, I don't know, yourself dancing, dancing or like a video of your cat, cat um, and then put that into Touch Designer. But today, as, as since, since the theme, the theme of, today of today is like AI, AI and, and audio reactor, reactor stuff, stuff, we're going to do, do AI generated video. video. So, so yeah. yeah, I'm going to first give y'all a quick crash, crash course, course on like AI, AI and machine learning and what all this stuff is. And then we're going to go over to Runway. Runway. And for those and of you who are following are along, along, we will go ahead and, and make our own AI generated, generated video, video in Runway. Okay. But first, 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 first some background. background. Sweet. Um, AI, AI art, art is, is the way I define it is that it's like any kind of art, any form of art that's made using machine learning or AI. And so what this means is like, because it's just art, it can take on a variety of any sort of medium. So it could be like images that are generated from an AI video, which we'll be doing today. Mu AI generated music, which is like a really, really cool field. And then I have, I have some links at the end of this presentation for those of you who are interested in AI generated music. Um, there's also cool AI generated poetry and novels and also performance, um, using it in live performance. 
overall, like, like the, the general, general pipeline, pipeline for using machine learning, machine learning there are like three main portions, portions to it. it. There's, There's the, the data, data set, set, which is um, often a very, very big set of data uh, for these image models that we're going to be using today. They're like big, big, big sets of images, like thousands or hundreds or thousands of images. Um, training, which is when you have a data set, then you put it through um, an algorithm and then it trains. It's kind of like, I don't know, kind of like baking a cake where you you put it on a GPU, which is the hardware that these things train on, and then you let it bake for like 20 hours, and then you check on it, and you're like, oh, is it overbaked or not? And then if not, you let it bake more. Um, but training is what happens when you take your custom data set, like you have a data set that you've collected. You take you know, this model structure, the model architecture, and you let it train on your specific data set. And then what it, what does, it does during this process, process of training, training is, is it learns, and it learns how to represent, represent the data set you've collected. So if you've, so if you've collected, collected a data set of like, I don't know, like 7,000 7, images of your pet, pet cat, cat, then, then what, what happens, happens during training is the, the algorithm or the model tries to, it keeps, keeps reviewing the data set, and it's like, uh, like how do I, I produce, produce things that look like this? And then it produces something, and it's like, does this look like something from the training data set? If not, I'm going to adjust it a little bit. And then it just keeps doing this process of comparing and adjusting and comparing and adjusting over many, many, many steps until it hopefully gets something that looks like uh, your training data set. And the very last process is testing, and that is what we will be doing today. The first two parts of this take a lot of time. Um, like making your own data set will take like more than a week um, often. Um, training is also a little bit like, you know, you might have to wait like 20 hours for a GPU to, you know, think and spin its, spin its gears. But today, for our quick little workshop today, we're going to be doing testing. Um, testing is when you already have a model that is trained, and then you're using it to just produce new outputs. So like, let's say you're uh, your, model your model that you've already, already let bake for, for, I don't know, two, two days, days generating, generating videos, videos or images, images of your pet cat. cat. Testing, Testing would be like, make, make me a new cat, cat image, image, and then it makes, makes you a new cat, cat image. That's, That's what testing is. Um, um, so yeah, yeah. I, kind I kind of explained, explained all of this a little bit already, already but, but training, training is when you have your data set, you take your data set, you put it into a model architecture, so um, an example, example of this, this would be like Stalgan 2 or, or GPT-3, and then, and then you let it let bake for many, many, many hours on the GPU, GPU. and then and out comes your trained, trained model, model, which often, often a lot of people like to think of as this black box. You know, it's like, it's got, got all of the information, information from, from your data set in it, and it's this black box now. And then, and then testing, testing, testing is, is when you use, you use that black box to produce new, new, new outputs. So this, this box is already set, set you know, no. you took, took the cake, cake out of the oven, oven it's set, set. And, and now, now you're, you're using, using it to generate, generate new things. things. Um, and, and for those, for those of you who are curious, curious about, about the math, math and the theory, theory which is which super, super exciting, like how does all of this actually work? This a series, series from, from 3 Blue, 1 Brown, Brown is really, really, really fantastic. fantastic. Um, um, there are, like, like, I think, like, four, four videos, videos in it. it. It's, like, it's chapter, chapter one through four. But he goes, he goes over, like, what gradient, gradient descent is. is. Um, and, and it takes, it takes about, about 45, 45 minutes to go through the entire thing. But it's, it's definitely, definitely, like, a must-watch must watch if you're interested. interested. Yeah. Sweet. And... Yeah, whenever, yeah, whenever you, you have, have questions, questions, feel free to just drop them in the chat. chat. I'll be checking periodically. Um, um, so yeah, so yeah. As, as I said today, today in, in Runway ML, ML, we are just going to be doing, doing, we're going to be focusing, focusing on, on testing. Testing, testing is, is also, also what Runway, runway ML's, ML's forte, forte is. is. 
It's not really that great for gathering data sets. It has some training built into it, but you know, it's a little bit limited. Um, but testing is really where Runway ML's forte is. Um, it's sort of like this collection of all of these pre-trained models that people have trained and they've put together on this platform so that you know, people can share and use them very easily. Um, yeah, like I said, Runway looks like this. Some people call it like Photoshop for ML. Uh, that's because you don't really need to know a lot of context in order to use it. It's very, very easy to get started and start, um, start playing with machine learning models. Uh, yeah, because of the graphical user interface, you don't need to code anything. And it does remove huge hurdles to like, you know, performing inference on a pre-trained model, which before would, you know, require often like some, some amount of coding experience and knowing how to like, you know, git pull and like set up and like debug error messages. Um, so yeah, it's, it's nice and it's really, really easy to get started with Runway ML. And yeah, like I said, it, its forte is the fact that it has this big collection of pre-trained models. Um, so if you all, oh, a question. How do people gather such large data sets? I might have a thousand pictures of my cat, but gathering a hundred thousand will take a while. Um, a thousand pictures, if you have a thousand pictures of your cat, you are good for training a Stalgian model. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, often, uh, yeah. So you're good on training a Stalgian model if you have a thousand pictures of your cat. That is because of a thing called transfer learning, where you use a model that someone's already trained, usually like a model that NVIDIA has trained or a model that Google has trained, and like poured a bunch of computational resources into. But you're basically like not starting from scratch. You're starting from like this model that they've already let, let bake for a really long time. And so then you do this thing called fine tuning on your data set, so you can fine tune on a way smaller data set of like a thousand. For a Stalgian, like a thousand is like a good place to be for a data set if you want to fine tune a Stalgian model. Um, but yeah, if you want to gather like a hundred thousand images or like a lot of, a lot of machine learning data sets um, contain like I don't know, like hundreds of thousands of images. Usually what they do is they scrape images from the internet, like from Flickr and stuff, which, you know, also has ethical problems as well, depending on like, you know, whose face it is or like, yeah, the owners of the data. Um, but yeah, if you have a thousand pictures of your cat, you're good and you can, you can go ahead and train a Stalgian model already. Yeah, Flickr faces, it's about 70K. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so yeah, so Runway has, has a bunch of pre-trained models. models. Uh, if you go to app, app, I'll just type in the chat, app.runwayml.com. Um, on, on this, this sidebar, sidebar, if you, you click, click models, uh, uh, this will show you, you the categories, categories of models that they host. Um, um, yeah, yeah, they've, they've sort, sort of divvied, divvied up, up the models, models into these different categories for different purposes. Uh, you can sort of click through and see um, what's available. Essentially, like each one of these is a pre-trained model. So there's a whole bunch of pre-trained models that you can use. Like if you wanted to generate Animal Crossing villagers or Coral, uh, you can do that. Let's go back. And there are different tools for different things. Um, but yeah, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't contain, contain every model. It just, it just contains, contains, you know, the selection of models that they've chosen to support and that people have shared with them. them. Um, it, it also has limited, limited training. training. Uh, they do have training available. Like if you click this train here, you do have to like sign up for a creator membership or a creator plan. I think it's like $15 a month to do training. And um, 
you're limited to these models that they've chosen to support for training. This one is Stallion, this one is GPT-2, and this one is an object detection model. But if you want to do anything outside of that, um, you will need to go outside of Runway to train those models. And yeah, like I said, uh, Runway can get a little bit expensive to use. Like training a model in Runway will run you about like 50 bucks, um, like 30 to, 30 to $60. Dollars. Um, but today, for what we're doing today, we're just doing inference and testing that will, like the free credits you get when you sign up will be, it'll be enough for today. Okay, cool. Um, let us, before I go into what a latent space is, um, for those of you who are following along, um, go, go to app, go to runway, runway click, click models, models, come here. here. What, what we are going to be doing, doing today to get our source, source video is we're going to be making latent videos. So it's this, this, this one, one right, right here, here in the middle. Yeah. And I'm going to click through to there. And pretty, pretty much, much all, all of these, these models, models are Stalgan, Stalgan models. models. Stalgan, Stalgan is this, this uh, it's, it's a GAN, GAN, which is a generative adversarial network. network. Um, essentially, essentially, it's a, it's a it's a model that generates images and that people have fine-tuned on different data sets. And in order to make our video, for y'all who are following along, like scroll through these and find one that, I don't know, that calls your attention. Someone mentioned brutalist architecture, far from a um, there, um, there is this, this brutalist, brutalist architecture generator. Maybe I'll do that because you mentioned it. Um, but yeah, yeah just, just scroll through, through find, find something, something that, that suits your fancy. fancy. And then once, once you, you have, have picked, picked one, one that you want to do, that you want to use today, today um, if you hover, hover over it, there are these two buttons, buttons learn more and add to workspace. workspace. And, and <laughs> yeah, there's yeah, a pizza generator, generator too. too. <laughs> um, um, learn more, more, I think, I think is always a good place to start. Add, add to workspace, workspace is like, let me let use me this right now. now. But, but it's good to check out, out Learn More to see, you know, who trained, trained this, anything, anything that, that they wrote here. here. This is trained and by Kupol. Um, and yeah, it shows you some, some information. information. It, it links, links to... to this probably links, probably links to the, the Stalgan, Stalgan GitHub, GitHub repository. repository, yeah. yeah. So, so this links, links to like, like what the original model was, and then it and also links, links to the Stalgan, Stalgan paper, paper. Um, which is, you know, if you're for interested, instance, it's, it's always, always good, good to, to, to check, check these out. out. Um, I'll come back to that once it's loaded. Um, and, and then, then also, also here, here, there's a license. license. And so uh, this, this is like, like if, if you, you generate, generate something with this, this will tell you like what, what how, how, how it can, can be used. used. So, so this, this is a, this particular one is a Creative Commons non-commercial 4.0 international. So, so basically, basically uh, limited, it's, it's limited, limited for commercial, for commercial use, use, but you can use it if you are attributing the person and then including copyright. I think I looked this up. So you're, you're free, free to, to share, share, copy, copy and, and redistribute, redistribute the material. material. You can and remix it, it, build upon it, it um, under, under the terms that you attrib attribute, attribute to them, to them. Um, and then and if you're using, using it for non-commercial non purposes. But yeah, so yeah always good to think, think about, about, you know, yeah. am, am I respecting, respecting the people that, that, that whose, whose work, work I'm using? But yeah, yeah, to, to get, get started, started with this, this, we can click this Add, add to workspace. workspace. You can click New, new workspace. workspace. And, and it'll, it'll give, give you, you like a pre-generated pre name. I can call this, I don't know, Baby Castles. Great. And now I have this workspace called Baby Castles. Brutalism Generator. Um, today, to generate these the videos, what we're going to do, actually, is we're going to go to a different UI. 
in this export tab. So here in this bottom window, we're going to click export. And then export brings us here where we can see there's this generate latent walk video. Um, and a latent walk video, I'm going to go back to my slides to explain what this actually is. Um, OK, okay. I'm, just I'm just waiting, waiting for this preview, preview to show up. Uh, uh, but, but essentially, a latent walk, walk video um, um, is sort, sort of, of, here we here can, we can see, see what this UI is like. like. These, These are, are all generated, generated brutalist, brutalist architecture. architecture. Sweet. Yeah, thanks, baby castles. Um, um, essentially, essentially, like, like the practical, practical part, part of, like, how do I make an animation, animation is, like, like, you pick. pick Keyframes key of generated, generated things, things you want, want. And, and then what the, the model, model does is, is it interpolates, interpolates between, between all of these, these generated, generated frames, frames um, and, and then, then it'll export, export that video. video. Um, so I can show, show you some, some examples of what a latent, latent walk video looks like. like. Uh, I recently trained a model on some, some some um, um, Chinese, Chinese paper, paper, paper cuts. cuts. And so, so like you, you sort of pick, pick specific keyframes key of generated, generated images, images and then the model, model you know, performs, performs a latent, latent walk, walk, AKA interpolates, interpolates for all of those frames, frames in between, between those keyframes key pretty, pretty smoothly. smoothly. And it's like, for each of those, each points, those points, it generates, generates the corresponding, corresponding image. image. And then you can smush them into a video, and that's how you get these, these, uh, these morphing effects with, with StyleGAN. Um, sweet. OK, but going back to like what is actually going on here uh, is you know, it's, it's called a latent walk video. And what does, what does latent walk mean? Why is it latent? Um, there's a thing called a latent space in most machine learning models. Um, here, I've shown it as this 2D grid. Oh, also, like, huge, huge, huge shout out to Derek Schultz, who, you know, we, we teach with slides. These slides are adapted from our class. Um, but yeah, shout out to, to Derek and I for these slides. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is a 2D grid. We can, we can think, think of it as a latent, latent space. space. What that, that means, means is like, like for, for a model, model like Stalgan, how does the algorithm do with images that aren't so similar to each other? Uh, what do you mean like in the training data set or do you mean in terms of like these, these key frames in the latent walk video? Like before training or after training? OK, I will, I will wait, wait, wait for you to reply. reply. Um, but yeah, yeah latent space, space, we have this 2D, 2D space, space in the keyframes. Key yes, yes. Uh, uh, you'll, you'll see, see that, that very soon. soon. Um, um, yeah. yeah, so, so latent space, space is sort of, sort of like, like, you know, this space. space. We live in a 3D, 3D space. space. This is a 2D, 2D space, space I've drawn on the screen. screen. Um, um, and, and each point, point in this space um, corresponds, corresponds within, within the, model the model to a particular, particular generated image. image. So, so for Stalgan, for example, that's, that's the image generation, generation model that, that most, most of these things, things use. use. Um, like this, this coordinate, coordinate of maybe like x is 5, five and y is 1, this vector, vector, this vector, vector corresponds, corresponds to generating this image. image. And that's, that's what, what the generator, generator in, this, this, in, in that, that model, model does. does. Is it takes these vectors or these points in the latent space and it generates the corresponding image. And a really, really, really cool property of GANs is the fact that their latent space is smooth. Um, and what that means is like we can like interpolate between different points in the latent space and it'll be smooth. Um, but yeah, before we get to that, 
Essentially, like different points in the latent space will correspond to different different generated images and points that are far apart, um, like like Johnny was getting to. Points that are far apart in the latent space will be pretty pretty different, um, but points that are close together in the latent space will be pretty similar. So these images are like almost identical, but there's like some differences in the hair and here. Um, yeah. And, and the cool, the cool thing, thing, the fact that it's smooth, smooth like, like these, these two, two points, points are, are very, very different, different from each other. But the cool, the cool thing, thing because this latent, latent space is like smooth and continuous is, is that, that for every, every single point, point along this line, line we can say generate, generate the image, image, generate the image, generate the image. And then and in the, the final, final output, output video, video um, um, they, it, it'll, it'll like morph very, very, very smoothly between the two points even if they are very, very disparate. Questions from Dan. Are latent spaces always 2D like in this diagram? No, they're almost never 2D. The um, style GAN's latent space is 512 dimensions big. Um, it's kind of hard for you know our puny human brains to think about, but you can just think of like, you know this point is specified by two numbers, like the x coordinate and the y coordinate. So like, I don't know, one, one comma, or like five, five comma one. one. And then and in Stalgan, the, the latent space is specified, like maybe this point is specified by this array or this vector of 512 different numbers. Um, yeah, and so each of these points, you know, people can call them latent vectors because they're vectors in the latent space. Um, and then each one of those coordinates in this 512 dimensional vector, people, people might call, call features. features. Uh, what, that what that means is it's something, something that, that the model has decided is important in the image. So it's, it's decided, decided to say, say like, like, yeah, if, I don't know, the fourth, the fourth number in this array is, is higher, higher, it corresponds to this particular change in the image. Um, and all of all that, that is kind of, kind of opaque to us because, because of like, you know, the process of training. Um, but yeah, yeah, the process, process of inference is when you take a point and then you generate the image. And, and interpolation, interpolation, which is what's happening here, is when, when you pick, pick a couple, couple points, points in the latent space, space and you say, and for each one of these points, points generate, generate the corresponding, corresponding, like the corresponding frame, frame, and I want you to do that for all of these points. So each one of these corners corresponds to each one of these. One, two, three, four, five. And we're just generating all of the frames in between. Cool. Um, this kind of interpolation is called linear interpolation, just because each these are straight lines. Um, and a cool thing you can do is if you want a looping video, is you can just put the start frame, the same as the end frame, so you can get nice looping videos. Um, and in Runway, you have control over the number of seconds between each of these frames. So like, yeah, like Johnny was getting, or like mentioned earlier, um, if two frames are very different, like maybe, these are, these are pretty different. Um, if I made, if I made this, if this time is 15, and then between, like, these two are very different, between one and two, and let's say, let me find one that's similar. Uh, essentially, what, what I'm trying to get at is, like, if two of these points are very different, um, and you have the same number of, the same amount of time, um, the, the, overall the overall speed or flow, flow when you watch, watch the output video, video might be, might, be, might feel a little bit uneven because like if you're spending 15 seconds here and you're also spending 15 seconds here, uh, this portion of the video will seem really slow and this portion of the video will seem really fast because it's covering a longer distance in the same amount of time, if that makes sense. So that's just like, yeah, if you want to, really, really, really fine-tune fine what these 
the, the, the look, look and feel of these video. videos. What video what length are we going for? Um, um, for, for this, this I, think I think like 30, 30, 30 seconds, seconds to like, like two, two minutes, minutes would be good. good. Um, um, yeah, yeah, I think, I think yeah, yeah, 30, 30 seconds, seconds to like two, two minutes, minutes would be good. Um, um, so, so yeah, yeah, seems like, like we're ahead of the game. game. Um, um, yeah, yeah, to generate, generate the, video, the video, now that, now you know, we have, we have all of this context on what's happening, happening um, is you can, can within, within the, the runway, runway UI, pick some, some frames, frames that you like, like and then add them. them. Um, and each, each one of these, these you can change, change the time. time. I'm going to switch these to like, I don't know, four, four seconds. seconds. And you can go, go ahead, ahead and build, build up the video that you want. Can the, can the connections, connections between the points be nonlinear? Yes. yes. So, so runway, runway has, has these easing, easing functions. functions. The default, default is linear, linear. Um, but then there's, there's also, also like an ease in, ease out. out. I think it's cubic, uh, but you can pick whichever one you want. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna, and yeah, Runway also has this feature if you wanna like star ones that you like, they'll just appear over here. And then you can refresh to get a new batch. Um, so I'm just, I'm gonna, just gonna assemble, assemble a video. video. Let's see how many. We're at 24 seconds. I'm gonna add some more. Thirty-two seconds. Sweet. And then also, if I. Let's say I want this video to loop. Actually, if I want this video to loop, um, I can put the same frame that I have in the beginning all the way at the end. Um, I think I might have lost it to the void, though. <laughs> so yeah, a good tip is like if you want a particular start frame to be the same as the end frame, to star it, it so that you have it for later when you want to bring it back up. Um, yeah. So I'll just I'll go just ahead, ahead and do this. this. Sweet. I lost you. Okay, okay. Lots, lots of questions, questions in the chat. Can the connections, how did you get there again? Okay. Okay, okay Alex, you found it, sweet. Uh, okay. How are the pictures analyzed? A position in the latent space? Mm, can you rephrase that question? I think you need to run the model beforehand to generate the images. Um, okay. okay, so for those of you who are like, like I'm already there. there. How do I do this? Um, um, after, after you've, you know, made your, put together your video, uh, I'll just do this really quick. <laughs> yeah, you all are on the, the edge of your seats. Okay, I'm at 32 seconds. To do this, um, you can set the frame rate uh, and you click export video. Um, if you click estimate cost, it'll tell you how much it costs. Like, like, as I said, runway, runway is not, not super, super, super cheap. cheap. Making, Making this, this will cost me 96 cents. cents. Uh, but yeah, I can click, click export, export video. video. And then and when you when click, click export, export video, video, it will, it will take you here, here to your assets, assets and then and it'll, it'll start, start, start spinning, spinning away. away. And, and yeah, it'll say in progress, progress and then it'll show, show a little, a little spinny, spinny wheel, wheel and tell you down. like, I'm at 17%. 17%. Yeah. I'll, I'll pause, pause a little bit here, here for all of you who are assembling, assembling your videos. videos. Um, um, we're, we're also, also like, like about, about almost, almost an, hour an hour in. in. So I'm um, gonna, gonna like, like, this, this time, time can, can be, be free, free work, work time, time slash break time, time if you wanna, you know, take a break. break. 
go to the bathroom, drink some water. Um, and yeah, I'll just be here to answer any questions until like the hour and then we can pick back up. Yeah, how are we all doing? Like, are you all picking keyframes? Where are you at? <laughs> yeah, there, there, there is an echo, and I'm very aware that there's an echo. <laughs> um, are we good to export? Yeah, go ahead, go ahead and export it. Sweet, you got the export. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I mean, I mean you do you get, get a lot, lot of, of a lot of choices. choices. But, but you know, you know runway, runway will always be here. Well, I don't, I don't know about that, that but, but you can, you can always, always come, come back, back and pick more keyframes key on your own time as well. <laughs> <laughs> I choose, choose my love for type. Sweet, Sweet. exporting, exporting video. <laughs> Did you Nylander, did you pick the, um, there, was there was an, an alphabet, alphabet one that, that also, also caught, caught my eye. That. It was, oh, this one, the alphabet. 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 I was, I was also, also really tempted, tempted by this one, because, yeah. yeah. Yeah, sweet, yeah. yeah. Is, there Is there a cheaper alternative to runway? runway? Um, um, what, what I, I use, use is Google, Google Colab. Colab. Uh, Google, Google Colab, Colab is free. free. They do they have, have a paid, paid version, version, but you don't really, really need it, it unless, unless you're doing, doing training. training. Um, yeah, Google Colab uh, allows you to use Google's GPUs for, for free. Uh, we can see that NVIDIA-SMI. Oh. I need to make sure I'm on GPU. But essentially what I use to make my work is Google Colab. Like we have access to a Tesla P100 and we didn't pay anything. Um, but yeah, I use Google Colab for, you know, that's what I use for my work um, because that's what I use to generate these. You have a, a lot more freedom in Colab, but you, it is like, a coding, coding environment. It's a that literally, literally just, just a Jupyter Python, Python notebook with access to a GPU and, and some nice dependencies, dependencies already installed. installed. Um, but yeah, yeah, if you, if you have, have some, some coding, coding experience, experience or are very willing, willing to, to get, get into the, the dredges, dredges of error messages, messages and get pulling and all of that, um, Google Colab is, is, a, is a good place, place to, to go. See how my video is doing. Zero percent. <laughs> um, when you when all you have, have your videos, videos together, together, if you so, so fancy, fancy. Uh, we can and share our videos. And we can see what our, our friends' videos, videos look like. Um, um, so, so if you, if you get, get your, your export, export done, done um, um, one, one thing you can, you can do, do if you feel like it, you know, no pressure, is you can add the video, video you get, get into the source, source videos. videos. I've already put, put this clouds wow. interpolation yeah. here. I can let that play. But if, if you, you, yeah, yeah if, if you're interested, interested in sharing, sharing your, your, your thing, yeah. you can put it here yeah. and then other people, Other people can, can use, use it, it when they're, they're playing, playing with the audio, audio reactivity, reactivity and touch, touch designer. Um, I'll drop that link in the chat. Copy. Okay, for source video sharing. Upload here. 
Okay, questions. Can we make our own images with Sunray? Um, yes. yes. The, yeah. if, if you, you want, want to make, make well, well there, 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 there are two, two options. options. Um, your first, first option, option is, is to use, use a, a different, different kind, kind of model, model that allows, allows you to, to like this, this category, category stylization. stylization. This, will this will let, let you, you put, put in an input, input image. image. Um, so for, for example, example, this is a, a model that my co-teacher co Derek has trained. trained. But you can yeah, input you know, like your, your own, own image. image. I don't know, let's put this cat in and see what happens. And we can click run, run model, model and that'll and output an image. image. So there, there are, are different, different kinds, kinds of models that are pre-trained pre where, where you can, can input, input an image. image. Or yeah, yeah you have no, more control, control over like what the generated, generated image looks like. That's, that's like, like the first, first option. option. And the, the second, second option, option is to, to do training, training, which means um, you're going to gather, gather like a big, big, big data set, set and then you're going to train your own model. model. And, and that, that will be um, a model that's similar, similar to, to, to the latent walk thing, thing that we just did. Um, and, and you can, can either, either do, do that in Runway, runway you can also do that in Colab. In Runway, it'll cost you like 30 to $60. Um, but you but do, do that, that within the, the, the training, training interface from uh, over here. As you click generative image, image. create a, a custom, custom generative model from your own images. Um, yeah, and then this cat, cat might come up in. in a little bit. Sweet. Um, do you need do you to have, have Colab, Colab Pro to train? train? Uh, you, can you can train, train like, like I said, I said, you can train, train within Runway. Runway. It'll be kind, kind of expensive. Of expensive. Um, you, you don't need, need to have to Colab Pro to train. train. You can still train in Colab without, without Colab, Colab Pro. Pro. Colab, Colab Pro, Pro is like $10, $10 a month. A month. Um, but, yeah, yeah what, what you get you with Colab, Colab Pro is like slightly, slightly better GPUs. And instead of your session closing out after eight hours, it closes out after 24 hours. So, uh, yeah, if, if, you if you don't have, have Colab, Colab Pro, Pro, there we go. If you don't have, have Colab, Colab Pro, Pro, it might just require, require more manual work of you, like you logging log in, in after, after eight hours and then like restarting training. training. Um, and then and also, also it might, might take longer because, because you're given a less, a less yeah, fancy yeah. GPU. Um, um, and then, yeah, yeah this, this is, is method, method one. one. If you want to use your own images, you can play with different models within Runway that allow you to use image input. So here's a, here's a cute cat, a cute flowery cat. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, a yeah, problem, problem with, with a, th a thing, a caveat, caveat about Colab Pro is you need a US, US payments, payments account. account. Um, um, I, think, I think you just need to like input a US zip code or something. Um, but yeah, Colab Pro is not officially out in the UK just yet. Sweet, okay. Cool, we oh, have we some, have we have some, some videos, videos here. here. And, and yeah, yeah, if, if you, you, if you are interested, interested, you can also feel free, free if you're following in the, the slides, slides to copy and paste one of these templates different. and put your name in here. Maybe I'll put arts here. Insert video, let's see. My drive, share it with me. Uh, let's see, Artemio. Uh, looks like it's not here, but oh look, we have some of this coming through. Um, I think, I think if, if you, you uploaded, uploaded it, it, it should pop up. But we can we also can check these out from out. here. Let's look at the alphabet. Processing this video. Boohoo. Cool. Well, Art picked pick the clouds, clouds one, one too. Nice. Play it at 
double speed. Nice. What else do we got? We have Google Earth. This one might still be processing. Oh no, it isn't. Ah, Google Earth satellite images. Sweet. Double speed. Whoa. Okay, nice. <laughs> I know you I said don't, don't, but let's see. Oh, it changed like so very, very slightly. Interesting. It might be might cool, be cool to, like, to like chop, chop this, this up, up into, into individual letters and then, yeah, and then use, use each of those, those letters, letters as, a, as a source, source video. video. Okay. okay, cool. And we have some things coming through. Sweet. Sweet. Um, um, also, also yeah, yeah, like yeah, I, I, touched I touched on this earlier, earlier but, but um, you know, we're, we're using, using other people's, people's pre-trained pre models. models. And so, so if you're going to post this work, work uh, it's, it's generally like good, good etiquette, etiquette to, to, if you click view, view info, info, to just, I don't know, try, try to, to try, try to credit, credit the person, person that made, made the model. model. Um, and then and be like, I used a, like, and to sort of frame it as an experiment, like I, did this in runway ML and ran the brutalism generator and this is what came out. Rather than taking a sort of uh, a stance of like, this is my artwork and I made this, you know. Just, yeah, be nice. Okay, so that like, mine sort of messed up for the few seconds. Yes, Touch Designer does let us trim. Um, you, could you could also trim, trim the video, video in like QuickTime or something. something. Um, but, yeah, but yeah, you, you, you can, you can trim, trim the video in Touch and Designer design afterward as well. Gucci handbags. <laughs> nice. Okay, okay so, so after, after this, this, you know, this, this concludes. concludes. Is the stream, stream down? down? Okay. Awesome. awesome. <laughs> okay, we're back. We're back, we're back, we're back. Awesome. Thanks for bearing with me during my time of need, my internet outage. Um, sweet. So this concludes the runway portion of the workshop today. And from, um, like, like this, this part, part going, going forward, forward is going to be, be all, all touch designer. designer. So this, this concludes, concludes the machine, machine learning, learning part, part of today. today. Okay. Let me just check the chat. Okay. Cool. Um, looks like we're about an hour in, so we have about another hour for a touch designer. Cool. Back after a refresh. Okay. We're all back. Sweet. Um, so yeah, we are done. Done with machine learning. We have our source video. We have our source video. There's more coming. We have pizza. Um, okay. Yeah. yeah. 
Um, um, so, so the next, next part, part, second part, part of today, today will be all, all in touch, touch designer. designer. Touch, touch designer. designer. Ooh. Touch designer. Um, cool. <laughs> um, um, yeah, so yeah, touch so designer, designer, what is what touch, touch designer? designer? I'll full screen this. What touch, touch designer, designer is, is it's, it's a, a real-time real video, video audio, audio software. software. Um, um, a, lot a lot of people, people use it for VJing, VJing like for, for making live visuals, visuals for performances, performances because, because the, like like the, the main, I don't know, the main selling, selling point of touch design, design is that everything is real time. time. Uh, so, so like for like, for, like those of you who like create, create music, music, you can hook, you can hook it up it directly, directly to Ableton or like to a MIDI controller and everything, everything will just react in real time, which is really, really nice. It's kind of like the polar, the polar opposite, opposite of machine, machine learning, learning, where you might have, have to wait, wait like two days, days for results. results. A, a, yeah, yeah, a pro tip, tip is please, if you, if you do, do, have a mouse with a scroll reel, reel, like one of these three, three button, button things. things. It'll, It'll make, make your life a lot, 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 lot easier, easier when, when you're navigating, navigating this, this interface. Um, um, if, if not, not, you can get, get around it. I used Touch Designer for a little bit without like, like just on my touchpad. Touch it is it a little, little bit cumbersome, cumbersome but manageable. manageable. Um, um, and yeah, yeah. Lee, Lee from Babycast has linked me to these keyboard, keyboard shortcuts. shortcuts. Um, for those of you who like keyboard, keyboard shortcuts, shortcuts um, there are all these keyboard, keyboard shortcuts, shortcuts for, for like doing things pretty fast. Um, and yeah. yeah. Um, and, and Touch, touch Designer, Designer uses, uses Python. Python. Uh, so, uh, so you'll, you'll see, see, for those of you that know Python, Python or like some, some, a little, little bit, bit of programming, programming you'll see like some things in, in the, the interface, interface where like, like it will it be like literally, literally just Python, Python code that's written, written into like a text, text field. field. Um, um, sweet. Okay. okay. So, so overall, overall, the, the three, steps three steps we're going to run through now are we're going to build, we are going to build a beat detector from scratch and touch designer. Then, then we're going to hook it up, it up the beat, beat detector, detector to video frame rate, rate playback. Like, like literally just saying, like, if, if beat, beat happens, then we want the video, video to play faster. faster. And then, and then we're, we're going to export, export the video. video. And, and yeah, yeah, let me let show you. you well, I've already showed you all what we're going to have at the end. end. It's this it's thing. Sweet. Yeah, yeah, thanks for sending us the keyboard shortcuts. Yeah, um, yeah we have we like have our like audio, audio file, file in. It's, it's just, just the default, default touch designer, designer and sample yeah. music. <laughs> um, um, this, this beat, beat detector, detector which, which we'll be starting, starting off, off making. making, like if you zoom in, you can like go inside of it. And we're going to be setting, setting up all these nodes, nodes from scratch, scratch. next. Um, but if we zoom back, zoom back out, out. Uh, this, uh, this is the, is the network, network that, that controls, controls the movie, movie file, file playback. This is where the movie mm -hmm. file comes in. Uh, yeah. yeah, like, like I, said, I said, you can put in put any, any arbitrary, arbitrary video. video. So I, I could put in, um, I could put in these clouds uh, that I made in Runway. Okay. And I could, if it, let me actually just make this a little slower. But yeah, you can put any video in, and it's like fun to just play with a lot of different inputs, input videos, or like source MP3s. Like once you have this all set up, it's like it's really, really reusable, and you can use it for a lot of different, a lot of different pieces. Yeah, I will be going into all of this in very, very minute detail of like how you add a video and everything. Why is it such a crazy UI? UI. Yeah, yeah a touch, touch designer, designer has a kind of crazy UI. UI. It does take uh, a bit a of bit a learning of curve. <laughs> um, um, sweet. And, and yeah, yeah, if you do you get, get lost, lost or, or if you, you like, like, I don't know, know want to go, go eat dinner, dinner or lunch or something, or something uh, every, every step, step is saved out in the class drive. I made this drive folder and there's, There's the zip, zip folder, folder of touch designer, designer projects, projects, which is just, just a zip, zip of this folder, folder which, which contains, contains each of these steps, steps 
like one by one. Uh, so this so first, first one, beat, beat detector, detector, that's what we're going to be doing first. first. And then and there then are there these, these like dot TOE files, which, files are which are touch, touch designer, designer files. files. So if you, so just, you just download, download the zip, the zip uh, uh, if you, you want, want to, to like check, check it, it out, out like, like step, step by step, step or checkpoint by checkpoint, check 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 um, um, it's, it's all there, there in yeah. the, the Google Drive. Toes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're toe, toe files. files. <laughs> um, cool. cool. And sweet. sweet. We are ready, ready to open up Touch, touch Designer. designer. Um, um, so yeah, yeah I'll, I'll start, start with, with a new, new project. project. Uh, touch Designer. Boop, 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 boop. Spinning up. Non-commercial, non yeah. yeah. There's, there's a, a non-commercial non free, free version of Touch, touch Designer. designer. Um, um, yeah, the only thing about, about it is you're restricted, restricted to like 1280 by 720, 720 output. output. That's how they yeah, that's how they get you and get you to pay is like if you want high res stuff, you gotta pay them. Um, but we can so we use can the free model, model for today. Okay. Um, yeah, so, yeah, so the, general the general overlay, overlay or, or the general, general UI of touch design is like you have, you have these have nodes, nodes, they have yeah. like these outputs. outputs, they also have yeah. these inputs, inputs on the on left. The uh, and, and you, you hook things up. up. Um, um, for, for you programmers, programmers in the, in the audience, audience, it's, it's, it's essentially, essentially like just a visual, visual programming language where you have like functions, functions inputs, inputs, and outputs. outputs. Um, yeah. yeah. So we're going to start, start from scratch. scratch. So we are we going, going to delete, delete all of this. this. I'm, I'm just, just, in order, in order to, select to select these, I'm just, I'm just taking my right, right mouse, mouse button, button and just clicking, clicking and dragging, and, dragging and then pressing, pressing delete. OK. Are you all with me? <laughs> I'm going to take a drink some coffee. Can you show the unaltered input? Yes. Um, here, the unaltered input of that, like, the face, the weird thing with my face and those fingers is this. This is the source video, which yeah, yeah that, this, this was a Stalgian, Stalgian model, model, model that I trained on a video yeah, of my face, face and my hands and me doing like stuff with my face and my hands. Um, and then I think I have the output saved somewhere here. Is it this one? Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, okay, so we, so we are, are on, on a new project. project. Can you use to show the show original video that you used to train? train. Uh, uh, I don't I have it. it. <laughs> uh, uh, I, I, yeah, yeah, but it was, it was like, like mm, I, I have, have the, uh, I do I have, have my, my data, data set, set, which I have saved out. out. It's in my yeah. folder, data, data sets. Set. All JPEGs. I essentially, I essentially took, a took a video, video of, myself of myself and then, and then split, split it into it frames, frames. And, and that's, that's how, how I got, got like thousands, thousands of images. Of images. Um, I and think I it was face, face with, with hands, hands and just hands. hands. <laughs> um, um, and, and I had, had 6,651 images in here. Uh, but maybe if we like, I don't know, we can check out one of these. Like it's literally, literally just like a frame by frame thing of the video. Yeah. And there's like 600, 600. or 6,000 6, of these. Um, I separated I those frames frame with a tool, tool called FFmpeg. Um, um, you, you could also, also I, think I think you can, you can do, do it in, in Photoshop, Photoshop or in After Effects, After Effects pretty easily. easily. Um, FFmpeg is, is a command, command line, line tool. tool. Uh, it is FFmpeg. FFmpeg, FFmpeg is kind of like, like this really, really do everything, everything tool for audio, audio and, video. and video. Like, yeah, smushing, smushing frames, frames into a video, video adding, adding audio, audio to a video, video taking, taking 
a video and cutting it into frames. You can do all of that with FFmpeg. Um, cool. Yeah, FFmpeg is a goat. <laughs> Um, yeah, it, yeah, it was, was about, about actually, actually Andre, Andre, I think it was, it was like, like maybe, I don't know, like five, five to seven, seven minutes of video. video. Um, but I also, I also cut, out cut out parts, parts that, that, I don't know, that I didn't like or weren't, weren't, weren't good data. data. Cool. Okay. okay. Let's, Let's get, get going. going. We have touch, touch designer. designer. FFmpeg, FFmpeg workshop. workshop. Woo. Yeah, yeah. All the all things, things, things you could do with FFmpeg. There could be could a whole workshop on FFmpeg. Cool. cool. Okay. okay. Beat, beat detector. detector. Beat, beat detector. detector. So, so the, the UI, UI of Touch Designer, designer you can, can right-click right -click to get, get this, this drop-down drop -down menu. menu. There's this add, add operator, operator thing, thing, and that, and that is, is what we're going to be using a lot today. today. There's also, also this hotkey, hot tab. tab. You can just you press, press tab, tab also. Um, the, um, very the very first, first thing, thing we're going to do, yeah. man, yeah. FFmpeg, I don't know that book. <laughs> um, um, cool. cool. But, but first thing first we're going to do gonna is we're going to add our audio. audio. So, so here, here, all, all of these, these things, things in Touch Designer, designer these, these are, are called, called operators. operators. There are each, each of those, those like, like squares that, that you see that are those nodes in the graph. Yeah. There are different, different families. families of operators. operators. These are components. components. These are called, called tops. tops. These usually, usually have to do with video. video. Like, like you can like add a video file in or like edit, edit the levels, levels of the brightness, for instance. instance. Chop. chop. We're, We're going to be, be mostly, mostly working, working with chop, chop today. today. Chops, Chops are, are essentially, essentially just, just signals. signals. Um, um, so, so if you're, you're using like audio, audio you're going to be using like chops most of the time. So we're going to put, put in, in we're going to go to the chop, chop menu, menu and click audio, audio device in. in. Or no, audio, audio file in, because we're putting an audio file in. So we go, go chop, chop, audio, audio file, file in. in, put that down. Yeah. And, <laughs> um, and, and if you, you are, yeah. yeah. So this, so this is, is preloaded pre with the touch, touch designer, designer, like that, that like br 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 track. track. Um, to actually, actually hear it on our end, end uh, we're going to have to connect this to an audio, audio device, device out. out. So we have we to have tell it, like, like play, play out, out to my speakers. speakers. So, so you can take, take the, the output, output of this audio, audio file and click and drag, drag then, then press, press tab, tab to bring up that menu again, and then find audio device out and put that down. And then, and then if, if you play, play, if you press, press like play, play down, down here, here, or if you press, press space, space, you should get yeah. some audio. I'll turn this volume down because y'all said it was too loud earlier. 0.13. How did How you bring up the song? song? Um, um, you can press, press tab, tab to bring up this menu. menu. Then, then type, type in, in or like, like get, get this audio, audio file, file in. in. Audio, audio file in. And it, and it comes, comes just preloaded pre with this file, file here, here, which is uh, the, the touch, touch designer, design. like default, default sample music. music. Sweet. Yeah, and then and if, if, if you so fancy, fancy, you can like edit, edit this file, file to a different, different MP3, MP3 of your choosing. Um, but for today, today I'll, I'll just use the sample music. music. Sweet. Okay. okay. Beat, Beat detector, detector time. time. This, this part, part is like the exciting, exciting part. part. Um, yeah, yeah, beat detector, detector time. Uh, uh, the, the first thing, thing we're going to do, do is, is essentially, essentially what, what we, we want, want at the end of this beat detector, detector is we, we want, want a square wave, wave that, that is either, either on or, or off, off digital, digital, like zero or one, one when, when the beat hits. The first thing we want to do it's like we have, we have two, two channels, channels here, here. Is we only, only need one channel. channel. So, so I'm going to click. click. <laughs> I feel <laughs> like a DJ <laughs> ready. <laughs> um, so, so yeah, yeah. Click, click and drag, and drag press, press tab, tab, and we are going, going to add, add a math, math node. Um, um, math, math is right math. here. Math. math. Boop. And, and we're going to smush, smush these, these channels, channels into one channel. Up here in this 
menu, menu for the, the math, math node, node. There's this, the second, the second one, one says, says combine, combine channels. channels. And we're going to combine, combine these channels, channels into one. And we'll set that to average. average. OK, like math, math node, node combine, combine channels, channels, average. average. Um, and, and this will just average, average these two channels, two channels into one channel. One channel. So yeah, yeah. It, the two, the two channels, channels don't really differ really that much. much. So, so it's, it's valid, valid to just average, average them, them into one. Um, um, then, then the next, next thing, thing, this, this part, part is pretty, is pretty cool, cool too, uh, uh, is, is Touch, Touch Designer, Designer has this has audio spectrum. spectrum. Um, um, for those of you who might have some prior experience, what this does, does is it calculates an FFT, FFT a fast, fast Fourier, Fourier transform, transform, which, uh, uh, if you don't, you don't know what that know means, means uh, it doesn't really, really matter that much. much. But, but it just takes the audio and then puts it in the, like, puts it in the frequency domain and then just decomposes, decomposes it, it into frequencies. So, so we, we see, see here. here. Yeah, yeah, it is really. really <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, um, what, what we, we see, see here, here is like the like base. Like, like we, we see, see like, like you know no, these big peaks, peaks when the base hits, hits. Um, um, and then, then like the higher, higher frequencies, frequencies up here. Yeah, touch designer makes it super super easy to just connect these things. Sweet. So we have this going. Uh, the, uh, next the next thing, thing we're going to do is we're going to add, add an analyze, analyze node. node. So analyze, stick, stick that, that here. Thing. How do How we select, select a transform? Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, so this, this, the transform, the transform um, um, here, I'll do it again. It's called audio, audio spectrum. spectrum. You click and put it there. Ooh. I, haven't I haven't tried, tried Max, Max MSP, MSP, but it but has it been, been on my radar, radar as well. What, what was, was the newest, newest node? node? Okay, okay, it seems, it seems like, like some people, people are. Okay. Okay, <laughs> okay I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go over this, this again. again. Um. How did How we, we make, make the math, math node? Uh, uh, essentially, essentially like, like to create, create any, any node, node, you just, you just click, click and, and drag, drag from the output, output and then and you then press, press tab. tab. And, and now here, here within, within this, this chop, chop menu, menu, this green, green one, one, we can like put like down a math node. And, and then, then go to combine, combine channels, channels, average. And that'll, that'll combine, combine the two channels into one. And then to do the audio, Spectrum, spectrum, like the FFT, FFT. we just, just do it do again, again, but create an audio spectrum, spectrum node. Yeah. Boop. And, and art, the newest, the newest node, node was analyze. analyze. The, name the name of the, of the nodes, nodes are like are down, down here. here. There is kind of small, small, but this one's called analyze. analyze. So analyze, analyze, right here. Analyze. Yeah. Cool. Um. I'm going to go ahead and delete my duplicate work. But yeah. Um, um, I'm going to click, click this little, little blue button, button here, display, and that'll, that'll just display, display this, this node, node in the background. background. So, so what, what this, this is doing, doing analyze, analyze, we set, set the function, function to average. And, and what, what that's, that's doing is it's taking all of these values, values here of uh, this frequency, frequency um, and, and then, then averaging average. them. And finding, finding the average. It. And uh, yeah, if you yeah. know no, an average, average is just, uh, uh, it's, it's just a normalized, normalized sum. sum. So, so it's, it's literally, it's pretty, pretty much just calculating, calculating what, what the mass, mass is under, 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 under this, this curve. curve. So like if there's, there's, a, a, there's, there's a big, big if there's, there's a big bump, bump this number is higher. And if there's, there's no bump, then this number is low. And then for, yeah, this is a little bit of a detail, but for those of you who, I don't know, want to play with the FFT, there are these settings here to like uh, boost the high frequencies. Um, but yeah, I'll just leave it at 0.75 at what it was before. Cool. OK, so we have this signal. Um, 
which is which sort is of like, like it's, it's like this cumulative, cumulative continuous, continuous signal but what, what we, we want, want is like a square, square wave. wave we want like, like on, on off, off on off, off. Um, so, so in order, in order to, transform to transform the signal, signal into a digital, digital signal, signal um, um, we're gonna, gonna put, put in, in we're gonna add, add in a node called trail what trail will do is it'll just watch this and then observe it over a window and it shows you what it what the value is of that signal over a period of time i'm going to change the window length to one second so what we've done is we've just added a trail node i'll repeat that trail right here and then, and then I change, change the, the window, window length, length to one, one, one second. second. So we can and see the, the, the historic, historic value, value of this. Because, because this, this is just literally, literally just an instantaneous moment, moment in time, time, like a time, time slice. slice. And, and this, this is, is like, like the historical, historical value of that, that signal thing. over time. Um, cool. cool. And then, and then the, the, the next thing we're going to do, we see with this trail, I'm actually going to close the door because I'm getting wind. BRB. What does window length do again? Like a small number versus a large one. Um, we can actually observe that in real time here. Uh, we can change this window length up to, let me bring it up to 11. Or it's at five seconds right now. So, so literally, literally this, this window, window here is five, five seconds, seconds long. long. If we bring, bring it down, down, it's like four, four seconds, seconds or one second, second. it's much, much faster. faster. Okay. okay. Um, um, so yeah, yeah. What, what we, we want to do, do from, from the signal is we want to extract these peaks. peaks. Like these, these peaks, peaks are what we want to detect as the beats. Um, so the so first thing we're going to do, well, one thing that we notice is that these values are, these values are kind of, kind of small. Um, I'm going to go back and, yeah. These values are kind of small. We see on the y-axis that they're like 0.01 to 0.03. So just for like our sanity, I'm going to multiply these with a math node. So we're going to open up and add another math node. You're not getting audio. Uh, if you can't hear anything, it might be because you haven't hooked it up to an audio device out. Like you have the, you might have the input, but you also need to hook it up to output in order to like actually hear something. Um, and the way you do that is you just drag it out and then create an audio device out node. And that's how you actually hear stuff happening. Um, cool. So going back to the, so we have this trail, the window set to one second. Uh, we're going to multiply. So in the math, we're going to multiply this by like a thousand. Just so, so we have, we have values, values that are, are a little bit bigger. bigger. Oh. oh. The thing, the thing you, need you need to do in the math, math node, yeah. yeah. This, this math, math node, the purpose of it is, is to smush, smush these two channels, channels into one. So you have you to have go to, go to click, click Combine Channels, channels average. average. Okay, cool. Okay. E -per 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 -per. So, yeah, yeah I've, I've multiplied. multiplied by a thousand. Um, um, I think, think y'all might, might have slightly, slightly different numbers here depending on like some, some settings. settings. But, but yeah, yeah I multiplied multiply by a thousand, thousand and then, then we wanna just, just put, a put a threshold, threshold at these peaks. peaks. Um, so, um, we're, so gonna we're gonna add, add another, another node called, called the limit, limit node, node, limit. limit. And, and this, this limit, limit, we're going to change, change the type, type to clamp. clamp. And we're going to 
basically say we only want values that are above a certain number. So if I just like look at this, it looks like the number I want is like 20, 25 or so. Um, so I'm gonna change this minimum to like 25. For you, it might be it might be different. I think, I think times, times I've done, done this before, it's been around like 85. 85. I don't know why it's slightly, slightly different this time. Um, uh, uh, I, might, I, I might actually just like redo this really quickly to make sure I have the same stuff as y'all. Ah, uh, uh, okay. okay. I know, I know, I know, I know why, why my numbers, numbers are different from before. It's probably because I, I reduced the volume. Oops. Yeah. Um, um, so yeah, so all yeah, of all my, my numbers, numbers will be slightly different because I'm setting, I'm setting my, my volume, volume lower. lower. Um, but, but if you are all at full volume, volume, your numbers, numbers will be slightly, slightly different. different. How did you get limit again? It automatically <laughs> hooked up to my audio, audio out. out. Yeah, yeah, your audio, audio out, out, just leave it. it over here, here on its own like, like isolated actually. island you don't you need, need to do to anything with it if you yeah, yeah. if you plug, plug this stuff in, in you'll hear stuff hear, hear all, all of your transform, transform signal, signal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, um so yeah, so yeah this, this limit, limit node, node um i think maybe, maybe for you all it might be a minimum of like 85 and a maximum of like 120. um for me uh, uh, this, this value, value goes, goes from, from like, like, I'm going to set the maximum to like 20 or so, and, and then, then I want to get these peaks at about 10. 10. <laughs> um, um, yeah, and yeah, then I can, I can like, like, you can, can see that this value, value like literally, literally just, just cuts, cuts the, the signal. signal like vertically so that so we that only we get only the get peaks, peaks that we care about. I'm going to bring this up a little bit. Okay, okay. So, essentially so essentially just, just uh, uh, in, in your, your limit, limit node, node set, set the, the maximum, maximum to what the, what the maximum value of the signal is. Like you'll, you'll look, look at the, the y-axis. I, I think, think like, like for, for full volume, volume it'll, it'll be, be like around 100, 100 or 120, 120 as your maximum. maximum. And, then and then for your minimum, minimum like, like see where, where like which, which cutoff, cutoff point you want for these peaks. peaks. And then, and then set, set that as your minimum, minimum value. value. I, think I think at full, at full volume, volume, it should be about like 85 as your minimum. Um, um, so yeah, yeah, we have, we have these, these peaks. peaks. We have these peaks, peaks going. going. Um, um, we, are we are also gonna, gonna flip, flip on this normalize switch. Because here, here we, we have, have you know, numbers, numbers from like, like 11, 11 to 19. 19. If we flip, if we flip on, on this normalize, normalize we get yeah, values from negative 1 to 1, which is closer, closer to what we want. We want, we want values, values from 0 to 1. So the, the next thing, thing we do to get values, values from 0 to 1 is we add in another math node. Math. math. And we click, click range, range. And... and this, this range, range will just remap re the values, values to a different range. range. So we so say we that, that the from range, range is from negative one, one to one, so negative one to one. one. And then and the then two the range, range that we want to map these values, values to are zero, zero to one. one. So zero to one. one. Nice. nice. So we are, we are almost, almost, almost there. there. Uh, we, we have the signal that's going up and down. It, it goes, goes from, from zero, zero to one, one but we but want, want it to be, to be cleaner. cleaner. Like it has, you know, it's kind of jagged. jagged. Um, and, and we, we want like, like a nice, nice clean, clean square wave. wave. Um, um, so, so to, to get a nice, nice clean, clean square, square wave, wave, we're gonna, we're gonna add, add another, another node called trigger. 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 Um, um, and, and we, we are, are going, going to also add another node, trigger. We've, we've added, added the trigger, trigger node, node, and then, then we are going to add a trail, trail. node. We, we used this, this earlier, earlier with, you know, the, the window, window, if you remember. 
this trail node, like, like doesn't, doesn't really have a functional, functional purpose here. We're, we're just, just going to be using it to see what's, what's going, going on. on. Like, just, just sort of like a, an, an oscilloscope, oscilloscope or like a magnifying, magnifying glass, glass to see what's, what's going, going on inside of these, these nodes. Okay. okay. Um, um, so we so can, we can see, see here that, that what this trigger, trigger is doing is it, it this is what the output of the trigger looks like. And, and in order to clean up the signal, we are, we are going, going to go, go into, into we're going to set this threshold. threshold. Like here, here we, we should set, set another threshold. threshold. Um, and we're, we're going to tell, tell it trigger on, on like, like if this value is bigger than 0.5, for example. Yeah. Like I, I only, only care about, about the peaks, peaks that are that above are like 0.5. So in, so in the trigger, the trigger node, I'm going to go to trigger threshold, threshold 0. 0.5. Okay. okay. Um, and then, and then I'm going I'm to go, go to, to attack, attack in the trigger, trigger node and, and decrease, decrease the attack, attack length to zero. zero. Attack, attack is down, down to zero. zero. So, that so that instead, instead of having, having this attack, attack, it's just hitting when it hits. hits. And so we and see that these signals are vertical, like they're completely vertical. We're also, also going to set, set the peak, peak length, length to zero because we just we want, want like pointed. pointed. There we go. And then and in sustain, sustain, decay length, length also, also to zero. zero. And, then and then release, release length, length also, also to zero. zero. Cool. So now we so have now this have more, more jagged, jagged shape. shape. And, and in order, order to, to get, get like a like square, square wave, wave um, um, we, we are going, going to set, set can you explain, explain the trigger, trigger note again? again. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. So, so let me, me reset, reset all the parameters. All the um, um, so this, this is what, what it looks, looks like, like without, without me editing, editing anything. anything. Um, um, what, what we, we want to do, do is we want to tell, tell the trigger note to trigger, to trigger if this input, input signal is like above a certain, certain threshold. threshold here with, with this trigger, trigger threshold. threshold. So, so I see, I see here, here, like, like on this, this input, input signal, signal, oops. I see I here, here on this input signal, signal like I, I want it to trigger, trigger if it's above 0.5, 0 0.5, for example. So I'm going to set, set the trigger, trigger threshold, threshold to 0.5. 5. Okay. okay. And then and I, I also, also want to clean, clean up this signal, signal so, so it's, it's more like square. So, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna click, click attack, attack within, within the trigger, the trigger node, trigger, trigger node, node attack, attack, attack length, length zero, zero, peak, peak length, length, zero. zero. Um, and then we get, get things, things that, that are more, more like on, on the beat. The beat. It, goes it goes straight, straight up. up. And then, and then in, in sustain, sustain attack, attack, sustain, sustain I'm, also I'm also gonna, gonna set, set decay length to zero and release length to zero. And so now, now we, we get, get these, these things that look like very pointy, pointy peaks. peaks. And now, and now to, get to get like a like square wave, wave um, I'm, gonna I'm gonna set the sustain, sustain level to one because we want it to, to hit all the way up to one. one. And then and the then minimum, minimum sustain length to 0.1 point point seconds. Point and that's how I get this nice little, this nice square wave. Okay. Cool. cool. And, and we, we are, are like, like we're like almost pretty, pretty much done with the beat detector. detector. Like we can, can see, see it's, it's triggering, triggering on, on each of these like, like these kicks. kicks. The parameters in the third, third math, math function. function. Okay, let's see. Math one, mm -hmm. math two, mm -hmm. math three. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Um, yeah, um, yeah, so essentially, so essentially here, here, the limit, limit what this, this math, math this math node, node is doing is it's just, just taking, taking these values, values and mapping them from, from zero to one. To one. Um, so, so the, the limit, limit goes from negative one, one to one, one, and we want to map it from zero, zero to one, one so that we have values, values that are between, between zero and one. So the only thing I believe you need to change is the from range to negative one, because the input goes from negative one to one.
I don't have any output in the trail to node. Um, is your trigger flashing? Does your trigger do this? Um, and is it hooked up as the input to trail? Okay, um, do you have these signals moving? Are they moving in your nodes? Do you see like signals that look like this? You, oh, you don't see any signals. <laughs> um, well, hmm. It stops, stops at, at limit one. one. My audio stopped, stopped working. One. It stops, stops at limit one. one. Okay, okay, so, so smooth, smooth jewel. jewel. If you, if you have, have limit, limit one, one um, in, in math, math, like did you, so, so if limit, limit one, one is working, working this, this one is working, working. Then, then in, in math, math three, three, you set, set the range, range from range negative one, one. Negative one, one. Okay, Johnny, could you go over the trail, trail node again? Yeah. Trail, trail node. node. This, this one? one? This trail, trail node? node? This, this trail, trail node, node you, you don't, don't have, have to do anything, anything to. to. Um, you, you just, just hook it up, up and, and it's, it's just, just a, a way, way for us to see what the signal looks like. like. Okay. okay, sweet. sweet. Um, cool. cool. So, so if, if I, I just press, press this little blue button, button here, here, I can see it like in the background. background. We're like pretty, pretty much, much done, done with the beat, beat detector. detector. Um, one, one thing, thing to, to sort of clean, clean this up, up a little bit, bit is like we can see here, we got like two random, like a false positive right here. That's, That's because, because we can go, go back, back to our, our first trail, trail and, we're and we're looking at a window at a length of one second, second. and we're so going to just shrink, shrink that, that window length down. down. Um, we worked with, with one, one second because it's easier for us to see while we're working. Like all of these, you know, they look, our eyes can follow them. But to get rid of these like false positives, we're going to go and set this window length to 0.1 seconds. And as, as you can, can see, like, like it's harder, harder to follow, follow here, here, but now yeah. we're only, only hitting when we want to hit. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll just, just pause, pause here, here for, for a second, second because we are done, done with our beat detector. detector. Um, yeah, yeah, just, just checking, checking in with all of you. How are you? How are you doing? I know we're almost at hour two, um, um, but this, this is this is, is like, like, yeah, yeah th this, this is the hard, hard part, part, and we're and done with the hard part. part. So this so beat detector, detector will work with any song, song. Um, um, pretty, pretty much, much yeah. yeah. Um, um, it will like, like I have like things, like things that it doesn't, doesn't work, work well with are like orchestral stuff, like because it does just do this frequency analysis, like. A lot, a lot of your of highs, highs might, might be hard, hard to separate, to separate out. out. Um, cool. Um, um, if, if you, you want to customize, customize this for a different, different audio, audio um, a different, different input, input audio, audio, the two, two parameters, parameters that you'll be changing, changing will be this multiply, multiply and, and this minimum, minimum maximum. maximum. Um, um, so maybe, maybe you like, like add, add a note, note for yourself note. here, like multiply and like minimum threshold. Those, Those will, will be, be the, the two, two values, values that you'll be like playing with to fine tune, -tune it. it. Um, and, and one, one other, other thing, thing is if, if this, this is, is like extra, extra icing, icing on the cake, cake if you are using, using a different, different audio, audio file. file. Like let's, let's say, say I want to ignore, ignore all the base values, and I only care about, about these highs. highs. Um, 
Th this, this is, is just, just bonus, bonus, like you don't have to follow this. this. Um, you, you can, can add, add in a trim, trim node, and this, this trim, trim, you can, I'm gonna set the fraction, fraction to 0.6 and negative 0.2. And what, well, what this trim, trim node does, does is it literally, literally just, just cuts, cuts this audio, audio spectrum, spectrum into the section that you select. That you select. So, so like, if you want to ignore all, all the bass and you only care about the highs for your beat detection, detection you just insert, insert this trim node. Trim but I'm going to delete it for now. Um, my chain stops right at trigger one. Right at trigger one. Uh, the trigger, the trigger one, is one is the last, last node. node. That, that, that is, is, I think, where it should, should stop. stop. Um, but yeah, yeah this, this is, this is, is all, all saved in the drive. drive. If you, yeah. like, if you go, go to, to the, the uh, I don't know, the, the, the touch, touch designer, designer projects. projects. Um, um, this, this is just the first step, step the beat, beat detector. detector. It's not, it's not flashing. flashing. Um, um, did you set the trigger, trigger threshold? threshold. Uh, uh, the, the screen, screen only, only flashes, flashes if you have decided, decided to, to display, display this, this node, node as, as the background. background. So, so you, in order to like, like, I don't know, uh, full screen something, something, you press, press this blue button and then display. display. And that's how you get it to pop up in the background. Yeah. Cool. Thanks, Max. Okay. Beat detector. We're good on the beat detector. How square should our square wave be? Sometimes I get some bounciness in my wave in the trail two node. Er. Um, if you have a little bit of bounciness, I don't think it'll be a problem. Um, but yeah, in order to make it square, like we set delay length, or we set attack length, peak length to zero, sustain, we set delay length, release length to zero. And then to get the square shape, we set the sustain level to one, so they're all at one, and then the minimum sustain length is 0.1 seconds. And that's like the length like of each of these these peaks um but yeah, yeah if you yeah you, you can sort of play, play around, around with these parameters to get a more square square wave um if if you find it that you need that okay cool beat detectors together we're gonna package this up and put it in its own node uh, the cool thing about touch designer is once you build something like this like a you don't, you don't need, need to do it again. again. Um, you can just, just put, put it in a component, component and then just reuse, reuse that component. component. So in, in order, order to put this, this like package, package it into a container, container we are going, going to open, open up, up our, our operator, operator model, model again, again and, and click, click comp. comp. We're going to go over to comp and then click, click container. container. Comp, comp container. container. We have a container. container. We're going to take all of this and put it in the container. Um, before putting it into the container, like we're going to think about what we want as inputs and outputs to our beat detector. Like the thing we want as input is like this audio file in, and the thing we want as output is this trigger, this trigger value, the zero one digital square wave signal. Um, so, so, in order, in order to, put to put this within this, this container, container uh, we're going to just take all of this, uh, and, and we're, we're going to disconnect, disconnect it here, because we, we want, want the audio, audio file in to go into, into the container. container. So we're just, we're just cutting, cutting it off, off cutting, cutting out, out the audio, audio file. file. And we're going to take, take all, all of this logic and stick it inside. So I'm just highlighting, and then just putting it in there and then copy, copy into, into project, project one, one, container one. So now, now if we, we double, double click, click on our, our container, 
We go in and we have everything here that we just made. Um, and in order to hook up like ins and outs for a container, we're gonna just, oops. We're gonna just drag out from the left side and add in in. It's called in. And then we're also gonna add an out on the other end. Out, out. Nice. So we've, so we've added, added an in, in and an out, out inside, inside of our container. container. And, and we're going to go, go back, back up. up. So, so I can I click can project, project one, one to go back up, or I can just like scroll, scroll out, out until I go into like the higher dimension. dimension. Um, and, and I can I delete can all this because I just put it in there. there. And, and I can I hook can this hook back, back in into the input. Um, and, and in order, order to, to view, view the, the output, output signal, signal, a trick that we use often is adding a null, null node. Null, null is just sort of like, like the identity. identity. It doesn't, it doesn't do anything. It just shows, shows what, what the, the output, output is. is. But yeah, yeah, there we have it. And it's all, all within, within this, this nice, nice little container. container. How do you select everything and put it in? Uh, here, maybe I'll make a, okay. To select everything, I take my right mouse button, I click and drag, and I select. Yeah, you, you just literally like click and drag. Oh, shift and drag. Um, and then once you make your container, container, Click, drag, drag, put, put in, in, and then, then copy, copy into, into container. container. And, and then, then you go, go into, into your, your container, container double, click double click to go, to go in, in, and then add, add an, an in, in node, node in, in on, the on the left, left and then and add an out, out on the right. Which, Which node, node do you disconnect? disconnect? Um, Disconnect, disconnect the audio, audio file, file in, in. Because, because we want, want that, that to be like, like outside, outside of our beat detector. detector. We don't, we don't want, want our beat detector, detector to be like tied to a specific audio track. track. So the, the yeah, yeah, the first, first node, node in, in the container, container is in, in then math one, one then, then audio aspect. Sweet. Okay, got, got it. it. Cool. cool. Thank you, you for following, following along. along. I know, we are, yeah, we're about two hours in. Um, we're almost done though, like our beat detectors together, we got this. Now we just have to hook it up to a video. Um, cool. Okay, time for video. I'm really sorry, can you go through that again? Okay, it seems I will, all right, I'm just gonna, can I undo? I'll just undo a bunch and do this again. Okay, okay. I'm back, back to, to the, the state, state in the in past. The past. Okay. 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 Wait. We're, we're, we're back. 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 Okay. okay. We're, creating we're creating a container. A container. I press, press tab, tab. Comp. Um, container. container. Make a container. It's here. It's here. Okay. okay. I'm, I'm going, going to, to disconnect, disconnect this audio, audio file, file in. Right, right click, click disconnect. disconnect. And, I'm and I'm gonna take, take all of this, this. Right, right click, click drag, drag, left, left click, click, drag, drag and I put, put it, it in. in. And then, and I, then click I click copy, copy into, into project, project one container one. one. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> thanks, thanks Andre. Andre. For those of you who don't aren't on a a nice mouse, nice. and then we and can, we delete, can this delete this because it's inside. inside. And then, and then in, in our, our container, container. Oh, oops, Ooh. what happened? Oh, let me try yeah, that again. Yeah. Actually, boop, copy, put in, yeah. copy. 
put in. Okay. okay. Sweet. Um, um, now, now we add, we add an, an in. in. This, this will define, define like the inputs, inputs to our, to our container. container. And then the, the out, out, which will say this is the output, output for our container. In, in out. out. And if and we, we go, go back, back up, up to project, project. Uh, we can delete we this because it's already inside. inside. We can hook, we can this, hook back this back as, as in. in. And then add, add a null node, just so, so we can see what's coming out. out. There we go. Do we all have our containers created? Where does out go on the container? Uh, you have an in on the left side and an out on the right side. From trigger. Trigger to out. No, it's, no, literally, it's literally just, just called, called out. out. Like, like, they're, they're literally, literally just called, called in. in. There's in, in, and then there's, there's out. Out. Uh, out. Oops. Out. Right, right here. here. Um, you, you need to be in this green, green menu, 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 the chop, chop menu. menu. Uh, to uh, go, to into go into the, the container, container, you can double click on it. Or you, or you can, can just, just like, like Infinite, infinite zoom, zoom into, into it, it and then you'll go inside of it. Okay. Any, Any other questions? questions? How are we doing? Kudos, Kudos to, all to all of you who are still here. <laughs> We're at uh, hour two. two. But we, we are, are basically, basically done, done with our beat detector. detector. And then and everything, everything else from here going, going on forward is like pretty fast. fast. Uh, container, container is empty. Is empty. Um, um, do you, you still have, have this, this network, network somewhere? somewhere? If you have, have this, this network, network somewhere, somewhere, you can just, just click and drag and put it in. OK. OK, okay cool. cool. Yeah, the yeah, video the will be recorded, recorded. And you can catch up. Also, also like, you can just start the Touch Designer project from this checkpoint. Okay. What's connected at the end of the container? This is a null. It's just so we can see what's coming out of here. The null just, yeah, it doesn't do anything. It just shows what's coming out. Okay. Cool. Cool. Yeah, yeah, I'm debating, I'm debating whether, whether to, to to take, take a, break a break or not. Yeah, like, like, how do you how do you all feel? feel? Should we Should take we like a five minute break and then come back, come back? or do y'all want to just power, power through this? How are you feeling? Mm -hmm. We don't, we don't have, have that, that much, much left. left. Um, um, the, the yeah, yeah adding, adding in, in the video, video syncing, like, like all of that, that will take, take. I don't, I don't know, know. Like maybe we maybe, maybe have, have like, like thirty, 30 minutes, minutes left. left. <laughs> okay. okay, I'm gonna uh, let's, let's regroup. Re no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I think I, think, I, think I, I will take a break. So, so let's, let's regroup, regroup um, at like nine, nine after, after, like in five, five minutes, minutes or so. Or so. <laughs> okay, we, we have, have we have a couple of us powering, powering through. through. Um, um, okay. okay. If y'all are, are feeling like it. Five minute break. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, let's, let's take, take a break. A break. <laughs> okay, okay we'll, we'll come, come back, back at 10 after. after. <laughs> BRB, y'all.
more pizza, pizza. Sweet. sweet. Yeah, thanks and for thanks hanging out, guys. Out. I'll let, I'll let the, the uh, let the pizza, pizza play. In the meantime. Okay, we're back. Woo, thanks, thanks for all the links. Here, I'm gonna put my headphones on. Okay. Can someone share the drive link? A way to donate. Please donate! <laughs> I'm, uh, yeah, please donate because I don't have a full time job. <laughs> Um, um, cool. cool. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Thanks for all the links. links. 
Okay, okay we're, we're back. back. We are back, back. and our, our minds, minds are, are refreshed. refreshed. And, and we, we are, are here, here with our beat, beat detector. detector. Cool. I'm, I'm just, just gonna, gonna rename, rename this beat, beat detector. detector. Uh, you, can you can click, click like, the, you can click the container, the container name and rename it to whatever you want. I'm gonna also close the door. Oh, we have uh, 38 people now. We've gone up in number. Sweet. Um, okay, we are ready to add our video. We're at, here, go back to our, our game plan. Hook up the frame rate playback and export the video. This part is pretty fast, so. Yeah, okay, we're gonna add in our video file that we made Way back, way back when, when in, in Runway NL. Um, in, um, in order to add, to add a video, video file, file, press tab, tab go, go to, to top, because we're, we're working with video, video now. now. We're going to be using top. And we're add, add movie, movie file, file in. in. Movie file, file in. in. And, and here, here we can, can set, set this file, file to the video, video we made we earlier. earlier. Or, or any, any other, other video. video. So we are going to go grab, uh, I made this cloud one in runway earlier. So we have this movie file in, and we've put in our movie file from runway. You can also drag the video into touch center. Amazing, I didn't know that. That's easy. I'm gonna try that. Whoa, wow. that, that is, is cool. cool. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Let me check on the chat. Sweet. Okay. okay. So we have we this have movie file in. in. Um, um, the, the key, key like the, the crux, crux, or like the very, very special, special, I don't know, I don't know the special, special thing, thing that we're, that gonna, we're gonna take, take advantage, advantage of with this movie file in, in is that, that there's this Q, Q, and we're gonna, we're gonna set, set Q, Q to, to on. on, Q, Q on. In Q, Q point, point, this is this what, is what we're, we're gonna be controlling, controlling in order to drive the video. So we've, we've set, set Q, Q on, on, and we're gonna, we're gonna set, set this Q point, point. Um, we can we set it to seconds. So we can control like which second of the video is shown. Um, um, and, and I'm going to just click this blue button, button to display, display the movie the file in so you can see, see what's happening. happening. So if and I just, just press, press play, play, you know, there's, there's the movie, movie file, file in. in. It's, it's not, not playing. playing. Um, um, the, the thing, thing we're going to do is we're going to take this output from our beat detector and put it into this cue point. Um, just, um, just to illustrate to you all what, what this cue point, point actually, actually does, does. Um, um, here, right, right now it's at cue point zero, zero at zero seconds. seconds. I can, can, you know, move, move it up it here. I'll go, go in, in intervals, intervals of like point, point one. But you can you see can it's literally just, just like scrubbing, scrubbing through the video. video. And I can go back, back and go forward, back, back forward. forward. Um, um, but yeah, that's that's the knob we're gonna use to control. The video, the video playback. playback. So, so in null, null, we're gonna we're gonna, gonna take, take this beat detector. detector. Uh, we're, we're gonna, gonna grab, grab the value. value. Um, in, order in order to, to grab, grab this value and, and tie, tie it to Q point, point uh, you, have you have to click, click this little diamond. It's diamond, diamond, diamond here. here, and then and click, click and drag. drag. Okay, okay, see you, Keza. Sweet. Sweet. Yeah, yeah, it's late. late. Yeah, yeah please, please go to go bed if you need to go to bed. bed. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, all, all the, the materials, materials will be posted. posted. Okay. okay. So, so, we've clicked, clicked white, white diamond, diamond on the on null, the null. and we're going to click and drag and tie, tie it to Q point. point. So, you're going to drag, drag it all the way over to Q point, point and, and press, press chop, chop reference. Chop reference means that it'll be like 
a live connection between these two variables. So like whenever a null changes, this key point will also change. So now if I press it, like we can see, we have some movement going on. Basically like this is flashing between second zero and second one, depending on the beat. Okay. okay, so we're, we're, getting, we're getting close. close. Um, um, in, order in order to, to actually, actually get, get this, this to like play, play continuously, continuously through, through the video, video um, um, we can add, add between, 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 between the, the beat, beat detector, detector and this and null, null node, node which, is our, which is what is actually tied, tied to our movie file. file. Um, between, between beat detector and null, null we're going to add math. We're going to add a math operator. Math. Poop. Oh, no, oh, no wait. wait. I misspoke. I misspoke. We're going to add, add a speed, speed node. Speed. Mm -hmm. Ah, now go here. here. Could you, you do, do that, that again? again? Which, Which part? part? Oops. Um, um, if it if was, it was yeah, the yeah, the Q detected part. part. Cool. Um, um, let me just disconnect just this. Bleh. Okay. okay. So, so we've, we're basically, basically tying the value, the value of this, this like, like zero or one, one into the key point. point. So, in, so order in order to grab, grab this value, value, we click, click the, diamond, the diamond, this white, white diamond. diamond. It turns it from like, like viewer mode into like this other mode. mode. And then we and click and drag, drag and put it in key point and chop, chop reference. reference. Um, and, um, make and make sure, sure your key, key point, point is, is in seconds. seconds. Uh, you can, you can also, also do, do like play with play other with units, units, but today we can just use seconds. seconds. Let me do that again. Boop, chop reference, seconds. seconds. Okay. okay. So we so can we see can it's see literally, literally just flashing, flashing between, between second, second zero and second, second one, one of the video. video. Um, um, if, if we, we want, want like more, more continuous, continuous playback, playback so, so it actually advances through the video, we're going to add, add in a node, a node called speed. speed. Um, and yeah, I'll, I'll show you what the speed, speed node actually, actually does. does. Just, Just like, like we did before, before um, we can, can add, add a trail, a trail node, node to just check, check out, out what's going on. on. So I've added, added a speed, speed node, node, I've added, added a trail, trail node, node, and I'm going to hook up. Chop reference, reference isn't coming, coming up when I drag it in. Uh, did you click this white diamond? Click white, white diamond, diamond, and then go, go to, to movie file in, in Q point. point. You should, should have this, this little, little arrow, arrow with the plus, plus, and then click, click chop, chop reference. reference. Um. Cool. And now, and now that, that we've, we've added, added the speed, speed node in, in uh, uh, if we want to see like what's going, going on, we can we add this trail, trail node to just examine what these signals, signals look like. So I'm going to just see what my beat detector, detector original, original signal looks like. And then I'm, I'm also going to see what my speed signal looks like. I can make this bigger. Essentially, Essentially what, what the speed the node is doing, as you can see on the bottom, it isn't, it isn't working, working, it just turns, turns red. red. Did you click, click the, the diamond? diamond? This diamond? And then Q point, Q point chop reference. reference. Um, um, is, is the number, the number blue? blue? Uh, you can, can click, click, if you double, double click, click Q point, point and make sure, sure it's selected, selected on this on blue, blue one. one. It means it's, it's a, an expression. expression. Do you, you also, also have, have Q, Q, this Q, Q toggle, toggle on? on? Yeah, I have it on. Hmm. That is curious. 
<laughs> it's still not working. Um, okay. Uh, yeah. Like, if you, like, once it's connected, there should be this little dotted line showing that it's connected. I like this. I suppose that you don't have this dotted line. Um. Okay. Let's try it again. Or I'll start from the top. You have a solid line. Okay. Um, make sure, okay, let's, I've reconnected or like disconnected and I'm going to do it again. Um, so this is our starting state. I'm going to turn the cue on, turn the cue point to seconds. I'm going to grab, go to this null. Turn, turn viewer, viewer active, active, like so that so we get rid of this frame, frame and we have this little, little this little, little arrow. arrow. And then, and then with the, the arrow, arrow, we can click, click and drag to cue point. point. Click, click chop, chop reference. reference. Make sure, Make sure you, you click, click chop, chop reference. reference. That, that is what will give you the dotted, dotted the dotted, dotted line. line. And then and if you display, display it, you can see the display. And it should be flashing between second zero and second one. Yeah, the dotted, if you have a solid line, that means that uh, you didn't, you probably didn't click chop reference. It has to be chop reference. And that's how it's like tied together with this dotted line. Okay, yay, it worked, sweet. <laughs> awesome, 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 awesome. I'm, I'm glad, glad we're all together yeah. on the bus. Cool. cool. Um, um, so, so I've, I've added, added in a speed, speed node. node. So uh, uh -huh. here, I'll just start, start from the top, top again. again. We got, got this, this, and it's flashing. flashing. We're going to, uh, between, between the, the beat, beat detector, detector, like after, after the, beat the beat detector, detector we're going to add a speed node. node. And what, and what that, that speed, speed node will do is, is like, like instead, instead of us flashing, flashing back, and back and forth between the same two frames, frames we're, actually we're actually gonna, gonna try, try to advance, advance through the video. video. So we're gonna, we're gonna insert, insert speed. 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 Oops. Insert speed. S P E E D. There. And so, and so we can, we can see, see, like we can see it's like, like going through the video, video more so than before. before. Um, um, and, to and to actually, actually check, check out what is what the speed note is doing, doing. Um, like this, this isn't, isn't super necessary, necessary for you to do, but just to examine, examine what's, what's going, going on. on. I'm, just I'm just hooking up my original signal and then my speed signal so you can see what what is the speed node doing. So we, so we have, have you know, know our, our square, square from our, our beat detector, detector. And, and you can, you can see, see that, that literally what the speed what the node is doing is it's adding, adding up, up the values cumulatively, cumulatively so that so we have, we have like, like, it's basically it's taking like the like integral, integral and then like adding, adding it up, up and then you have this step. step. And, what and what that means is that once we hook it up to our cue point in the video, it means like, I'm gonna keep playing forward in the video at this content, at, at this speed. speed. Um, um, and then and every, every time, time the beat hits, hits I'm going to jump, jump forward, forward a little bit. So that's, that's good. good. You know, as we're, we're getting, getting, we're getting, getting closer. closer. We're almost there. there. And, and if we if want this to like be more jumpy, jumpy or for it to be more intense, intense the effect, the effect um, um, we can make these like, these steps, steps bigger. bigger. And we can do, we can do that, that by, by in, in between, between the, beat the beat detector and the speed, speed after, after beat detector and before speed, speed we're going to add, add a math, math node. And, and with, with this, this math, math node, node, we are, we are going, going to go, go to range, range and we're, and we're going to make, make, make this, this output, output or, or like, like the beat detector, detector output, output, if you remember, remember is from zero, zero to one. one. It's this square, square wave. wave. And we're, we're gonna, gonna make, make it, instead of zero to one, one we're gonna go zero to 10, 10 
for example. So like, like you know, you know these, these jumps, jumps are more, more intense. intense. So let's, let's see what see that looks like. like. So now they're now like, like pretty, pretty intense. intense. Maybe yeah, I, you know, you know for, for this, this video, video, maybe I want like five. Let's see how that looks. Yeah. Cool, cool. And, and one, one last, last tweak, tweak that, that we might do, do is this video. video. You know, yeah, when, when the beat, the beat is, is not hitting, hitting it's, it's just static. static. It doesn't, it doesn't move. move. So, so we can, can set, set a minimum, minimum speed, speed, like a minimum like playback, like playback by, by adding, adding a, a bottom, bottom range. range. So, so instead, instead of, of zero, zero to five, five we're gonna go, go one to five. five. And that's, that's how, how we get it to like play forward. And that's, that's like, like pretty, pretty much, much it, it for, for making, making the, the, the video, video audio reactive. reactive. Um, you can put in like, like whatever like video you want. I'll go put in my my weird face, face fingers, fingers stuff. stuff. For this for one, this maybe I'll, I'll do, do like, like 10 or 15 maybe. So that's more intense. Cool. Amazing, Amazing yeah. yeah. We're, like, We're like in the, in the home, home stretch. stretch. Um, um, how can how we can export? export? Yeah, yeah, that is, that the, is the very last, last part. part. Um, in, in order, order to, to export, export, this is pretty pretty, pretty quick. quick. Did the AI, AI generate? Yes. yes. This, this is, is all AI-generated AI video yeah. from, uh, from, from a video I took of myself. OK. okay. In order to export, so you can actually share this with people. Um, top, top. We're, we're gonna create, create a, a movie, movie file, file out, out top. top when you set seconds, seconds on the video, video can you show that, that again? again do you mean in on the on video, video node or on the math, math node um, um, on the on math, math node my, my settings, settings are from range, range Zero, 01, because that's, that's our digital, digital square wave. wave. And then and I'm, I'm mapping, mapping it to the values to 1 to 15. 15. OK, okay. And, and for, for exporting, exporting, exporting. Um, this, this is, is a movie, movie file, file out. out. And, and oh, no. <laughs> Did I go offline? No. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> okay, okay, sweet. sweet. Um, um, on the video, I think I missed something. Um, so the, the only, only things, things you need to set on this media, media file, file in art are Q, Q on, on um, um, Q, Q point. point. You set, set the, the units, units to seconds, seconds. And, and then, then yeah, yeah, and then make, make sure, sure your null is exported, exported as a as chop, chop reference. reference. Okay, sweet. sweet. Yeah, yeah, we can just, can just review, review at the end. Yeah. So yeah, in yeah, order, order to export, export oops, uh, add, add a movie, movie file, file out, out node, out. Top, top, movie file out, out. out, right here, mm -hmm. boop. We have a movie file out. out. Then, then we, we hook, hook this, this in. in. And, and we, we also, also want our audio. audio. So we're going to grab. We're going to go to our audio, audio file in. in. We're going to click, click and drag. And drag. Oops. Over, over the, the movie, movie file, file out. And then put, put it, it here as the audio, audio chop. chop. Otherwise, Otherwise, if you if don't you do this, your video will be silent. silent. But we want to connect, connect it up, it up hook it up, it up to, to the, the audio, audio file, file in node. So now, now we, have we have our, our video, video in and our, our audio, audio in to our, our export. export. And then, then here, here, like, you can, you just, can just press, press this plus. plus. This, this is where, where it'll be saved, saved out to. Too. You press, press this plus, plus. And then you can say, like, I want this to be saved. It's like test1.mov in my downloads. 
And then to and actually, actually save this out, out there's this, this record, record button. button. And, and to begin, begin the, export the export of the recording, recording. Uh, we can start, start playing, playing this, this. And I'm going to hit record. And now it's, now it's recording. recording. It's saving, saving this out, out to a file. file. Or like all of this content will be saved out to the file. And if I press off, that's where the file will end, the MOV file. And if I go to that file, it'll be here. Test one, and it's there. Okay. That's how you do an export. Um, I think I worry that I am not seeing the chat. Mm -hmm. um, um, but yeah, yeah we, we are, are, if you're there, there that, that is all, all of the, the all of the content, content for, today. for today. You know, we, we, we've made our beat detector. Beat detector. Is, is there a way to reset, reset the audio to the start? start. Yes. yes. Um, um, if you go to audio, audio file in, in your audio, audio file, file you can just, just press, press this pulse, pulse. Um, and that'll, that'll bring it back to the beginning. Woo! Woo! <laughs> um, cool. cool. And then, yeah, yeah. as before, before if y'all fancy, fancy, you can add it to, to you can share, share the videos, videos you've made in our, uh, in our, in our drive. drive. Woo! Woo! <laughs> um, um, sweet. sweet. Okay. okay. We, we are, are pretty, pretty much, much done. done. I, just I just have, have some, some closing, closing remarks. remarks. Um, but yeah, but yeah if, if you, you are, are still, still here, here, you have made your, your own, own beat detector from scratch. You have Made, made a latent, a latent walk, walk video yeah. with machine learning yeah. in runway. Cool, sweet. Um, and yeah, yeah you've like, like hooked, hooked it up, up hooked up, up the audio, audio to video. video. And this, this is like, like a lot, a lot of steps. steps. <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah, yeah like, like you did, you it. did it. Cool. cool. Sweet. sweet. Um, um, Lee. Lee. Could you, Could you drop, drop the link, link to this in the, in the chat, chat. And, and also a link to the survey, survey in the chat? chat. Um, yeah. yeah. So, so, you know, once, once you get your video, video exported, exported, you can feel, feel free, free if you if you wish. wish. Oh, we have something, something from Andre already. Um, um, you can, you can upload, upload your exported, exported video, video here. here. And... Yeah. Cool. Yeah, yeah, so you so can, you can like, like um, put in, in any, any MP4, MP4 or M MP3, any MP3, also, also any MP4, MP4 as your video. Yeah. Um, sweet. And, and then, then, yeah, yeah we'll, we'll see, see, see the cool things y'all have made coming in. in. Uh, and uh, the, and the cool, cool thing about, about this is like, now that you've, you, you know, know, run, run through, through the, the gamut, gamut and made all this stuff today, you can, you can reuse it, it. Like, like you can, like, like you could, you could have, have a live, live show with streaming with input from like some musicians in and then have these visuals react to their live input. Um, sweet. sweet. Yeah. yeah. And, and I, thanks, thanks for the, the posting, posting the survey. survey. Uh, so, so I, I, I made, a made a survey. survey. <laughs> I, made I made a survey, survey so, so y'all can, can give me feedback, feedback on this workshop. workshop. Uh, uh, feedback, feedback is super, 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 super helpful, helpful so, so I can make these better. better. Um, uh, and yeah, yeah so, so I can, can yeah, just yeah, make them make them, make them better, better for future participants. participants. Um, um, yeah, yeah, I read, I read everything, everything and I make changes based off of what people have told me. me. Cool. cool. Yeah. yeah, and some, some closing, closing remarks. remarks. I'll just go through this pretty quickly. Like if you're like, I want to make more stuff. Where do I go now? Um. Oh, oh, 
I have an AI artwork newsletter where I send out stuff related to like AI art, like upcoming events. Like, you know, there's a there's this AI art festival happening, or this group is doing like free workshops on AI generated music. Um, I'll send that out to the to the newsletter so people, you know, will know what's happening. And yeah, um, I also have linked. Uh, some, uh, some other, other fun, fun ML, ML stuff, stuff to play with. with. Google has uh, this lab, lab called Magenta, Magenta, where they, they focus completely on AI-generated AI music. music. This, this is, is just really, really, really fun, fun to just dig through and play with, with all of these demos. demos. If you want to, like, like, I don't know, like, level, level up and add to this AI-generated AI music, in addition to AI-generated video, you totally could. There's also, There's also this, this fun, fun game, game called, called AI Dungeon. Dungeon. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll leave it up to y'all to, to check it out. It's an, it's an infinite, infinite text, text adventure generated, generated by AI. AI. Um, um, and yeah, yeah for, for those, those of you who asked ask about Google Colab, Colab these, these are, are good places, places to start. start. Um, um, this, this is this repository that Derek and I collect of Google Colab notebooks for making making like artwork. And, and we have, we have a, a YouTube, YouTube playlist of demos, demos walking, walking you through them in case, in case you want like more, more I don't know, more hand holding through the, the process of going through these collab notebooks. For machine, machine learning, learning um, um, yeah, yeah, as, as I, said I said earlier, the three blue, blue one brown, brown video is super, is super great. great. Um, I, also I also have, have these notes, notes I've taken from classes I've taught before. One is specifically on runway ML. And the other, the other one is specifically, specifically on, on a model called Stalgan 2. 2. There are also, there are also videos, videos from Runway, Runway like this, this company. company. The, their, their YouTube, YouTube channel is really helpful. helpful. Um, and, and Gene, Gene Kogan, Kogan has, has a really, really sweet, sweet, sweet like, like curriculum, curriculum going of machine learning for art. And, and as, as for, for touch, touch designer, designer, what was the AI, AI, AI music link? The AI, AI music link was Google Magenta. Magenta. Uh, it's like. If you, if you just, just search, search Google, Google Magenta, Magenta, it'll come up. And the, the demos, demos are really fun, fun to play with. Cool. And then, then for touch, touch designer, designer, like I said, touch designer, designer like, like I feel I like I've like only touched the surface with touch, touch designer, designer. But, but would highly, highly recommend, recommend you check out. Uh, if, you if you followed you through today, today, I think, I think you're good, good to just skip to anything in this guy's YouTube channel. Everything is awesome here yeah um, and then um, if you want to keep, keep up, up with people in the, in the AI, AI art, art world, world here's just sort of, of I don't know like a word, word splash, splash of, of people, people that you that could, could follow, follow on Twitter, Twitter or whatever if you want to like, like I don't know get, get more, involved more involved in this in these, these communities. communities and yeah, yeah that, that is, is that, that is, is it. it. That's, That's me. If you want to contact me, me uh, feel free to like DM, DM me on, on Twitter, Twitter or on Instagram, Instagram or like email me. Um, <laughs> we are at the end and we made it through. Uh, sorry this ran so long, but I'm, you know, kudos to all of you that followed all the way through, and kudos to all of you who are listening to this like three hours from now for also watching through the entire live stream. <laughs> Cool. cool. Thanks. Thanks. Thank, Thank y'all. Woo. Woo. Maybe I'll put out some closing music of a, uh, you know. <laughs> Yeah, thank, thank you all you for coming.
we'll keep in touch